My name is Angela Wright, and today I'll be giving an overview on renewable energy in Germany and how successful they have been in, by implementing 100% renewable energy nationwide without going into bankruptcy as a country. I will describe briefly the techniques used in Germany in implementing such a feat. Although America has made great strides in the production of green energy, they have yet to supply it to more than a select few. Those that utilize green energy are more commonly investors, which have purchased equipment themselves, whereas Germany has produced and put into action a plan to utilize only renewable energy by 2050. This benefits their most rural areas as well as their cities. Germany's master plan includes a payment process which is feasible for all that is involved. There are feed-in tariffs, tax incentives, as well as market-based funding for this renewable energy takeover in Germany. Impressively enough, Germany is currently two years ahead of schedule with a staggering 50 to 50 to 75 percent renewable energy coverage. Feed-in tariffs can be considered a type of tax on kilowatt hours, yet it also can be seen as a line item on people's electricity bill. These changes are set up in such a way that it will and has already begun to diminish by 2050. As of May, their tariffs have dropped from 24 cents per kilowatt hour to between 12 and 16 cents per kilowatt hour. Tax incentives are not as widely used as tariffs, yet they are like our grants and governmental loans. The problem with these is that they raise the debt ceiling and increase our taxes. Market-based funding are individuals or companies which invest in their own green energy sources, yet given population are largely middle class, middle to low class. This is not, this is too, this too is not a common practice. In the long run, utilization of renewable energy is for the best. The benefit for those that harvest and produce our energy today, in today's market, in the United States brings so many health issues and safety issues that can be avoided with the utilization of our new technology. The benefits would far exceed what we could fathom as far as the health of our citizens as well as our ecosystem. In lieu of the jobs, persons who are currently employed in harvesting and production could be retrained and transferred over to the new renewable energy plants. After they are established into the new positions, then the jobs for new employees could be presented to the public. This is my opinion. It is my opinion that with this restructuring and written plan, we, the United States, can become a country with renewable energy as our primary source.